Hi everybody, today we will be talking about lesson 105, using formulas. So today we're actually going to be reviewing, reviewing several formulas that we've already talked about, and you will have the opportunity to then use them in your problems, okay? So we're going to review the um, formulas for perimeter, for area, and for volume. I would recommend that you write these down so that you have them to refer to later. Okay, so the area for perimeter is two, or the formula for perimeter is two times the length plus two times the width of an object. This will give you the distance around that object. Area is simply the length times the width, and the volume of an object is length times width times height. Now remember, perimeter is always written with our just our units. Area is units squared and volume is units cubed. Okay? So, now that you have those written down, let's go ahead and look at example number one. The Jacksons have added a dining room to a corner of their house. Mr. Jackson purchased crown molding that will be installed at the intersection of the walls and the ceilings of his dining room. Crown molding costs $5 per foot to install. What will be Mr. Jackson's cost for having the crown molding installed? So, in this, I am finding the perimeter, okay? This is where my crown molding goes, so I need to find the area around. So to use my formula, I have perimeter equals two times the length plus two times the width. So if my length equals 15 feet, that would be two times 15 feet plus two times my width, which is down here, which is 12 feet. So, two times 15 equals 30, plus two times 12 equals 24. And so my perimeter equals 54 feet. So, there's step one, you are not done. The question asks, what will be Mr. Jackson's cost for having the crown molding installed, okay? Well, crown molding is $5 per foot. So, now that I know my perimeter is 54 feet, now I need to multiply that 54 feet times $5 per foot Okay, and so my cost to have it installed will be $270. So $270 is the answer to my problem. So this is a two-part problem. You will need to make sure that in between your first calculations over here and finishing the problem that you go back and reread the problem. Okay, all right, let's look in or at example number two. Okay, example two. Mrs. Jackson wants to buy carpet for the new dining room floor. How many square feet of carpet are needed to cover the floor? So, we know that this is going to be an area problem. Area equals length times width. So for this one, my length, well, actually, okay, here are my two. My length is 15 feet times my width is 12 feet. And 12 times 15. Okay, so my area equals 180 
feet squared. Okay, so this is how many square feet I need to cover the dining room. Notice that it, again, this is an area, so my feet are squared. Okay, all right, example three. Okay, notice that they did an analyze down here, okay, after they showed your solution in the book that said the carpet Mrs. Jackson shows, I'm right here, costs $5 per square foot. How much will it cost? How much will the carpet cost? So they took their 180 square feet, which is the size of the room, multiplied it by $5 per square foot, and came up with a cost of $900. Okay? So example three, the Jacksons now have crown molding. They're getting ready to put in carpet, but now they need to account for the additional volume added to their house to heat and cool it. So how many additional cubic feet of air need to be heated and cooled? So I know that because A, they give me the hint cubic feet, and that I'm not just air conditioning the floor or a wall or the ceiling, but the interior of the room, I know that this will be a volume problem. Volume equals length times width times height. So my length equals 15 feet times my width of 12 feet times my height of 10 feet. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit because we already did length times width and got 180. Okay, I can multiply that by 10 and we get 1,800 feet cubed. So my volume is in cubic feet. Okay? All right, example four. Okay. The Jackson's son, DeMont, has a trunk in his room for, sharing, for storing his toys. A. Mrs. Jackson plans to put a liner on the bottom of the trunk. Choose a formula to decide how much area the trunk liner will cover. Okay, well they just gave you a major hint right here and said how much area the liner will cover. So the formula you would use is area equals length times width. Okay. B. Mrs. Jackson also plans to paste a border of horses around the entire trunk. Choose a formula to determine the minimum length of the border she needs to buy. Well, since the border is just going around the trunk, even though it's not necessarily at the top or the bottom, that's still going to count as our perimeter. The distance around, which equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Okay, so now let's go ahead and solve each of these. Okay, so problem A, our area. Our area equals our length times our width. 30 times 36. And... I get 1,080 inches squared. Notice this is inches, not feet, centimeters, yards, anything else. Make sure you pay attention to your units. Okay? Um, oh, I want to erase that, but never mind. Okay, and then the perimeter. We have Perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. 2 times 36 plus 2 times 30. Okay, 2 times 36 is 72 plus 2 times 30, which is 60. And we have 132 inches equals my perimeter. Okay, 
So there we just took the information, we found the area, we found the perimeter. Make sure that you write down the formula you choose first and then plug in your numbers, okay? All right, for your uh, lesson practice, you are going to go for A and B, you're gonna go back to the Jackson, so you need to go back to the examples um, to find the dimensions for problems A and B in your lesson practice, okay? All right, good luck, I'll see you tomorrow.